Starting off the NFC South, the Atlanta Falcons. Starting right down about six hours away from us down here in Memphis. The Atlanta Falcons win total sits at seven and a half to go over. It is minus 130, under is even money. To win the division, they are plus 750. That's number three in the division. To win the NFC, plus 4,000. I wouldn't even worry with that. Wouldn't even worry with it. To make the playoffs, they are plus 200. To not is minus 250. They are projected favorites in seven games, and their projected strength of schedule is the 14th easiest, according to win totals right now. This is this is interesting. Three straight seasons of win total unders. They went one and eight in one score games in 2020. I mean, they were they were right there so many different times. They got a new head coach, Arthur Smith, former offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans. They blew five fourth quarter leads with under two minutes to play last year. Like, they were that close to being good. That close. They faced the single toughest DVOA schedule in the NFL last year. Matt Ryan produced the eighth best success rate in 12 personnel last year. So, while they lose Julio Jones, they did bring in Kyle Pitts. And if you're going to be running 12 personnel, maybe this is good for Matt Ryan. We shall see. Maybe there's a reason that they didn't trade away their quarterback. Defense outperformed their talent last year. They ended up 14th in DVOA. They did not upgrade it very much. They were the third healthiest team in the NFL in 2020 per football outsiders. That's going to be very tough to uh, duplicate. And because of their London home game and their 17th game is at Jacksonville, this team is only going to have seven out of 17 games at home this year. Found it very interesting. I am of the belief that this team is actually going to be pretty good, and I think it might be at the detriment of another team in this division, but I'm going to take the Falcons to go over the 7.5. I, I kind of like this team. I think old man Matt Ryan, Matty Ice, going to make a little bit of a revenge tour. I, I like them, but not by much. This is not going to be like a, a run out and bet your mortgage on it. I, I've got them winning eight games. Like I, I think it's going to be a fun first year for Arthur Smith. I think Kyle Pitts is going to be fantastic. I think Calvin Ridley is going to be good. And I think Russell Gage is... I think they would not have traded Julio Jones. They would have found another way to settle that salary cap issue. But they, I think they trust Russell Gage. So, former LSU guy. So, I'm I'm kind of in on this. I'm going to go over the 7.5. What, uh, what are your thoughts? I've got this team right at the number, but I got them at 7 and 10. So, that's an under. But... <clears throat> but you're not complete, rushing to bet it, right? No, it's a complete stay away for me. But, but, but for this purpose, I've got them at under. I think that... That has them significantly improved over what they've been the last two years, by the way. Okay. Yes. I think Arthur Smith is going to be a big increase in what they are and who they are. I also think they're about a 50-50 ball club. Okay. And I think the teams that are better than them, they lose to. And I think the teams that, th- that, that they are better than, they will beat. I think they will split almost every divisional game except for maybe the Bucks. Okay. And maybe they can win one of those Bucks games. Okay. I don't know. But, but I just I just can't see this team being great. I mean, you got them at eight and nine. I got them at seven and ten. We're we're virtually the same on this team. That's vastly improved from what they've been. Yeah, I think Arthur Smith is capable, and competent, and he's going to be a good head coach. They they do start off against Philly at home. That's right. But then, man, you go fun. you go to Tampa in week two, and, and then you've got at the Giants. I think that Giants game. Big swing game to figure out what this team is going to be early, and then they play Washington. They got the Jets in Week Five. It, it's you. You go. Well, it gets ugly late. Yeah, that's it, the thing. If you look at the back end of that schedule, it gets real ugly late. You you at least you know win one of two against the Giants and the Washington Football Team. I, I think you can get the Jets. I think you can get Philly. You start this season out three and two. I think you're looking all right. Like it's no, definitely I better. Think you're, yeah. That's right. No, no, one, and I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. But from that point forward, you know, rolling all four more wins is basically splitting your with your division. Yes. Yes. I think I think you're right. I think you're right. 